Race number five at Belmont on Wednesday. We'll jump at 10 past four. It's the C Corp handicap over the staying trip of 2,100 metres. And in replay, let's have a look at a Saturday race and the fourth placing of Dark Prospect. To go, Gangbuster led by two. Double digit made a run at them very quickly to loom up and grab it though. It's double digit that sailed to the lead. Maracino flat to the floorboards. Now Pike gets a run with Burning Pride over near the rail. Double digit though with 150 to go. Here's Burning Pride starting to quickly gobble it up near the inside. Burning Pride goes through, grabs double digit. Burning Pride gets the neck in front. Burning Pride wins it. Burning Pride by about three quarters. Intriguing race here. Number one, Dark Prospect comes out of a 70 22 plus handicap in which he was beaten six lengths by burning pride. He actually dropped a rating point from that, from 69 down to 68, which considering he was racing outside of the handicap day is a little bit surprising. Now, Neville Parnham is the absolute master at, uh, re at placing these horses in midweek races in particular when they've come down in the ratings. This horse was rated in the 70s not all that long ago. 68 here, 60 kilos, not all that much of a concern. Has won over the, uh, the track four times out of 22. And this is a big drop in class from a 72 plus to a 58 plus, goes on top. From number nine, Hula Hoops, who was really good last start for Justin Warwick and Mary Derrick. She keeps the ride here, 53 kilos, so only got up half a kilo. High rating race. If Hula Hoops can back that up with the blinkers off and the winkers on, we'll go very, very close here. Number seven is Mr. Delegate, a really interesting runner from the outside gate by Machino. Now we've seen Machino stock, they're either very, very fast or they get over a trip. This horse won its maiden over the 1600 metres last start, was well backed as well, $1.50, won by a space, can win without surprising. And then number six, Diplomat Express, won two starts ago and you never really can discount this horse in this grade, has drawn gate number two as well, which will be useful for a horse that gets back with a cutaway in place. Top selection in race number five is the class dropper, number one, Dark Prospect, to beat nine hula hoops, seven Mr. Delegator, and six Diplomat Express. Race number six at Belmont on Wednesday will jump at 4.45. It's the Kieran Megumi handicap, over 1,200 metres for the Colts and the Geldings in replay. Let's have a look at uh, the recent trial of Noble Reflection. And struggling is Taparu in the straight. They've got 250 to go. And out in front now, going up on the outside, Dance Cocky has raced up to Skimmel, but joining in with a big run is Advocator. Advocator swept to the front now from Dance Cocky. Running on strongly is Floyd. Advocator's got the lead though. Drew Clear. Floyd's down the outside. Running on fast is Noble Reflection all over the top. And. I say a recent trial. It was the 20th of July that Noble Reflection went round under Chloe as a party. was only just beaten by Floyd who came out and won the Jockey Celebration Day Sprint. That's pretty good form. Claims down to 56 and a half here does Chloe as a party. And I'm gonna trust this horse. His starting, port, uh, starting price profile is that of a talented galloper. He was pretty disappointing in his last few starts, but he's, he's mapped well here. He, he's got gate number nine, but I think he won't be too far away from the front. And we all know how good Chloe is on gallopers that are near the lead. Goes on top from number three, Semi Gel. Has the right form lines behind the likes of She's Vital and Don's Legacy, but does tend to find one better than him most of the time. Maddie Derrick takes over, previously been ridden by William Pike and Chris Parnham. So it is a drop in rider class there, you would have to say. Number four is Gillespie. Now this is a real handful, this horse. The wink has come off, it's got a new trainer. It's gone to Michael Lane from Liz Strempel. Chris Parnham takes over from Jaranoski, who rode this horse last start. William Pike couldn't win aboard it. I wonder if Chris is going to have much more luck. It is a talented galloper, just one from 15, though, is the concern. And then number two, Euro Trip. Likely to run his race, you would think, here from gate number one. He did win a class one last start with Lucy Warwick in the saddle. She keeps the ride, and, uh, but he is up in class. Top selection in race number six is number five, Noble Reflection, to beat three Semi Gel, four Gillespie, and two Euro Trip. Race number seven at Belmont on Saturday will jump at 5.20. It's the Crown Perth handicap over 1,200 metres, a class three for the Phillies and the Mares. In replay, let's have a look at the last start win of Regal Poise. Shadow roll counter drive and further back is the Italian job into the straight 300 left to go. Alexis Olympia, pure Magnus are together now. As a party goes back to the inside with OBH and look at Regal Poise coming from the back of the field with a wet sail. It's Regal Poise when they reach the 100 going up, grabbing the lead. Miss Marietta fighting back on the inside, but Regal Poise in front coming through late. OBH Regal Poise. Regal Poise was very good in winning the replay race, rated very nicely for a class three handicap. Chris Parnham was in the saddle 
on that occasion. He jumps off here. Jade McNaught takes the ride. So a vote of no confidence, you'd have to say, from Chris Parnham, who's riding Ladies of London instead. But I'm going to stick with Regal Pies. It rated really, really well over course and distance last time out. Goes on top. From number three, Born to Try, who's been odds on for three of her six career starts. The Winkers go on here for Ross Price and Brad Parnham. Was fourth behind Lucky Linda Lulu in a Saturday graduation race, but I don't think the format of that is particularly strong. Number seven is Care Healing that comes out of the same yard. Jared Noski rides for Ross Price from gate number six. I think this horse is better than midweek class, same as Born to Try and possibly the same as Regal Poise. And, uh, but the concern's going to be first up and hasn't won for a long time as well, 609 days. Number two, point taken. Really like the form of this horse. His first up has got a horrible gait, 15 before the scratchings. Victoria Corva rides her down to 56 kilos. He's going to have to go all the way back to the back of the field, one would suspect, but the cutaway is in operation. And the way this horse finishes off, I think can run into the minors. Top selection in race number seven is number eight, Regal Poise, to beat three, Born to Try, seven, Care Healing, and two, Point Taken. It's now time to nominate my best bets on the card. Go in with a couple of young jockeys here. Race number four, number two, Giant Leap for Lactar Romilly, and in race number seven, number eight, Regal Poise for Jade McNaught. It's easy to stay up to date with everything that's happening at Perth Racing. You can log on to our website or you can follow us on one of our social media channels. Until next time, bye for now.